hello everyone and welcome to physics pen today we are going to discuss something really basic what kind of mentality a person in the field of physics should have and to do that i am going to tell you a story which is very much related to the problem of world peace in my story i have a guy who is standing on a cart while he is playing with the ball and the cart is moving straight ahead he dropped the ball from a certain height and saw the ball falling straight down to the floor and you know as a twist to the story there is another guy watching the ball falling down while he is standing static on the ground the first person on the cart said the ball fell straight down to the floor whereas the person on the ground said the ball followed a parabolic path and since you can clearly observe there is a disagreement in their statements both of them started arguing and that argument turned into a fight there comes another guy who happened to be a physicist although he is also a good guy so he says guys you need not to fight you both are correct but in your reference frames but uh, as you might have already guessed nobody likes to listen to good guy especially if the good guy is on a neutral stance and both of them continued to fight but you know just like every story have a villain even my story also have a villain he is also a genius he is also a person who happened to be a physicist but you know he is an evil genius that guy comes into the scene and says aha i can make some money out of the situation he goes to the guy on the cart and says can't you see the ball fell straight don't leave your stance you are correct your eyes don't lie to you now the evil genius goes to the person on the ground and says you are on a better position to judge if you give me money i will teach you how to aim and throw stones at the person on the cart and since then both of them are fighting nobody likes to listen to the other guy nobody likes to appreciate the other guy's point of views but still the fight is on and the process of making money out of that fight is also on and this is the sad situation of the world so enough of world peace now let's come back to physics you know what we have learned from this story that uh, an event can have different observations based on different frames of reference a frame of reference is an observer looking at an event and the observer will always be considered to be static in his frame of reference and everything else will be considered to be moving relative to the observer you can ask another question related to the situation are there any types of frames of reference on that my answer would be yup there are basically two types of frame of reference one of them we call the inertial frame of reference and the other we like to call the non inertial frame of reference if you are a curious person you will ask what is the difference between both of these frames of reference on that i would like to tell you that uh, if an observer is standing still or it have a constant velocity basically which means that it have zero acceleration then anything moving relative to that observer will be considered to be moving in an inertial frame of reference and if any observer himself is accelerating keep it in mind that the observer himself is accelerating in that situation anything moving relative to that observer will be considered to be moving in a non inertial frame of reference why is it called to be the inertial or a non inertial frame of reference yup that's a genuine question and that i would like to tell you that in an inertial frame of reference uh, newton's laws of motion are valid but in a non inertial frame of reference newton's laws of motion are invalid again you can ask why this time i am going to tell you with an example suppose that you are standing on a ground and your friend is on a cart and he is accelerating towards you 
you see him accelerating towards yourself, you ask him that, uh, are you experiencing a force? Your friend will tell you, yes, he is experiencing a force. On that, uh, if, you, if you look at yourself from the perspective of your friend, he will see you accelerating towards himself. And if he asks you that you are accelerating towards me, then you must also be experiencing a force. But you say, no, I don't experience any force. And that basically makes Newton's second law of motion invalid in the frame of reference of your friend, which is a non-initial frame of reference because it is accelerating. And according to the second law of motion, the rate of change of momentum is equal to the force applied. Thanks for watching.